All right, quick little video here of how to, uh, if you didn't get the SD card with your VR or you want to add your own content, I'm going to show you how to do it. So apps, all files. So if you have a blank SD card, uh, that's a good way to start. If not, you can put it on your device. Um, but you would just hit device storage and then you'd start making the files here. I actually think, um, yeah, you know, 360 VR is one there, Oculus is here. Um, but what do you do, so if those files don't exist, SD card, if you have a blank one, um, and then create these two files here. Start with Oculus, you know, just the way it's spelt to, you know, capital O. Uh, a lot of the stuff is no spaces, so Oculus. And when you get in here, um, you're not going to have these. When you download them um, from the VR or from the Oculus store, these will automatically populate, um, but if you don't have it, these aren't going to be here. So what you're going to do is you're going to make movies, 360 videos, and 360 photos. Uh, starting with movies, um, create one that says trailers and create one that says multi-screen. Now what this does, so if I click on trailers, I created one that says 3D. So this is my own content. So if I click on 3D, these are 3D movies that I downloaded and added. Now, if you're going to um, download 3D, actual 3D movies, um, that say through 3D, Blu-ray Rip, or something like that, um, the only thing you're going to have to do, uh, I found out the hard way that's actually pretty easy, um, press and hold, rename the file. Rename it to whatever you want. Um, it usually comes with a bunch of mumble jumble, you know, 1920 by 1080 from whatever person. Delete all that, just Avatar 3D, uh, and then you're going to want to put... Just like that. You're going to want to put uh, underscore, capital L, capital R for left, right. Uh, when you download a 3D movie, it's going to be two different sides, the left side and the right side, um, because the, the VR uses a, a passive 3D, not active 3D. Uh, so it needs to convert the left eye to the right eye so you can see it as one film. Uh, but that's all you have to do. But you can just put this file. We'll just do it this way to start so it's not so confusing. So... Go back, go back, show you again. So create one that says Oculus, create these three movies, trailers, create one that says 3D, and then put your 3D movies in there, and then make sure you rename them underscore LR at the end after every single one so it converts it to the right format. And then when you put it in trailers and then 3D, um, this way, because if you just throw it in there under my movies, um, it's just a blank screen around you. You can only see the movie. You can't see anything else. It's just a screen in front of you. Um, this way, it puts it in the movie theater, the home theater, the cinema, the ant on the moon. Um, so you can put your own movies inside the content that already exists in the VR, which is pretty cool. Now, multi-screen is the next one. So if you create multi-screen... I don't have any files in here because I actually have it on a device. I haven't switched it yet. But multi-screen, if you go into the Oculus Cinema, there is a uh, a place where you can hit multi-screen, and it puts it it puts you in a movie theater with three different screens, and it stretches the movie over three of them. So if you can just drag and drop your uh, regular movies, not necessarily 3D. You can put your regular movies in here. I'm assuming if you made a 3D folder and then you know underscore LR after the the title, it would actually work in 3D. I haven't tried it yet. So that's kind of what you can do for your own content so far. But if you want to just input any of your movies, create the file like it is here, all caps. Uh, whatever type of movie it is, if it's a regular movie, just drag and drop it here. If it's 3D, name it 3D, make sure you retitle everything, underscore LR. Um, if you happen to download one and it's not a left-right pose... There is a, uh, you can look up online, I forgot what it was, it's underscore, um, it might be TB for top bottom, um, but I'm not sure. That's really all you have to do for your own content. Now once you start downloading stuff from the store, it's going to populate in these files. So this is uh, Cirque du Soleil, uh, the intro, another thing that came with it. Um, and then the cool thing is also 360 uh, videos. This is what it comes with. You can drag and drop any movie you want in here to turn it into 360. Now, it's not going to look 
the greatest because it's going to wrap a 2D movie into 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 a 360 view. If you go on YouTube and you search uh, 360 films or 360 movies, or there's a new channel that people are starting to shoot in 360, and you uh, tube mate one of those to your phone, and then you move it into this file that'll actually work in the uh, VR for a full 360. So there's even more content. So all that content on YouTube, you can now use in here. So like I said, all you have to do is find whichever one you wanted on YouTube that supported 360 video, uh, tube made it to your phone in the highest quality, and then just copy it and paste it into 3D videos. And then any 3D photos that you take uh, on the S6 or the Note 4 or whatever, um, you can drag and drop in here and they work as well. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys, uh, anything else, let me know.